Hi guys, it's Renisti, back again with another FHM video, Season 3, Episode 2, Documenting the Rise of Mr. Barry McCockner. He's now on his second club team, and he's heading into his first season in Japan, of all places, with the Eichi Tochigi Nico Icebox. And he left Team Austria, well, he was fired, but he accepted the Team Lithuanian job anyway to try and redeem his international career as well, because he's ambitious, and you gotta respect it. Let's take a look at our emails. Training camp development report. For once, it's just positivity across the board. A couple small decreases for the aging guys, but Iguchi and Tutsumi. Are you kidding me right now? You guys are getting so much better. I love it. Taiga Abe as well. You're doing good. We might just have to keep Iguchi in the lineup on a regular basis. Let's take a look at the ALIH season preview. Hokkaido, no surprise, is the favorite. We are second at least, according to the media. Anyang Hala looks like they could be good as well. The Dark Horse, the Dark Horse appears to be East Hokkaido. They got Tanner Lashinsky? Like, Philadelphia Flyers, Tanner Lashinsky? I can see why they got him. Jeez, that's a big contract for this league. So now the regular season is officially here. Let's get our first 10 games of ALIH hockey underway, starting with our first game in Huawan, Korea, against Anyang Hala. These are our lines for the time being. We're waiting for our Norwegian sensation to heal up in between the pipes, but hey, Wakimoto was good in the preseason, so I got some faith in the guy. Let's see how our first ever regular season game in Japan goes. We get blanked. God damn it. For our second game of the episode, we are once again in Korea against Anyang Hala. It's a back-to-back, -back, but the lines are changed slightly. I moved up Iguchi to the second line. I moved up Sato to the second line. He was previously scratched. And Otsuka is starting. So let's see how this game goes. That's more like it. 2-1 OT win. Let's go. Alexander Holtz has been traded to Nashville. And a Ducks Flyers trade has been announced. I'm surprised there's no uh, Gautier Drysdale references in this. But hey, doesn't matter. They're not in the trade. Johnston for Jean Laurent, one for one. Only one small change here for our first home game of the season. Ankvern is back in goal, and that's it. Yeah, forwards and defense look the exact same. Let's go. And we win our home opener in OT. Not great. And the reason why I say that is because I'm realizing now, in this league, regulation wins count for three points. OT slash shootout wins count for two. This system, don't get me wrong, I like it. It's just when we can't get past the regulation barrier, it gets a bit annoying. And since it's such a small league and only the top four teams qualify for playoffs, not great. So guys, I like the winning mentality you guys are clearly building, but get it done in regulation, goddammit. Same exact lines and goaltender for our next game against the Free Blades. Let's go. Finally, a regulation win. Yes, four to three. How are the Toledo Walleye doing? Oh, yeah, my whole thing of not renewing any contracts for obvious reasons. Yeah, that doesn't seem to have panned out that great for the Walleye. Not even a dozen players. <laughs> oh, Jeff Greenberg, I hope you have a miserable tenure in Toledo just like we did. More development reports, more negativity, but that's just how it goes with aging players. Some positivity at least though, Isagai is getting better. Sumi's getting better as well. Monthly budget, we got about 9.7 revenue points in the bank added this month. For the potential of more gains, let's just make it a 3% bonus in uh, game promotions and arena operations. The ECHL season preview, let's see if Toledo's in here. Wait, wh what? The cup favorites appear to be Toledo? What happened? Oh, miraculously, they signed a bunch of guys. They got Dominic James, Connor... <sighs> I genuinely hate the AI in this game. He's built a squad that will be a team to beat this year. Yeah. And Barry McCockner is white as snow. Owner confidence update. Masajiro Yoshi thinks that this season is successful so far and the team has played very well. We're in a rebuilding process. Think carefully before adding veterans to the roster at the expense of giving our young guys playing time and or acquiring new prospects. Taking a longer view, we're not expecting to be a serious contender next season, but aren't planning on a total rebuild either. In other words, a balanced outlook. Now, the fans are satisfied with the job you've been doing. No need to worry about your job. Replacing you is out of the question. This, this is the owner confidence update I like to see. All right, so we got another back-to-back. -back. This time, we're in Yokohama. 
to play the grits. We got the exact same lines as last game. Let's see if it works out. And we blank them. A goal in each period. That's it. That's all. Good job. If it can work once, it can work twice. Let's see if we can beat the grits for the second game in a row. God damn it. Trade between Montreal and Arizona. Kirby Do Kirby Doc for a second. Okay. Another trade between Buffalo and Montreal. Let's see what this one is. Connor Clifton for a fifth. Not the worst, actually. We're going to keep things the same. We're back at home against our Korean foes and Ang Yang Hala. 5 nothing shutout win. Get out of town. Actually, don't. We're playing you tomorrow. Same lines. Let's see how it goes. 4-1 win. Does this mean we are back in the top three? Let's not forget. We're on the same points as Ang Yang Hala, except where we have four games in hand. And we're only two points behind Hokkaido. Keep in mind... A regulation wins three points, and we have three games in hand. This team might just surprise some people. All right, so head into our first game against East Hokkaido this season. We had to make Ren Chujo a defenseman. Why? Because Yuki Sasaki's hurt. Day to day. So this is likely a short-term fix. Now, let's get into game number nine against the East Hokkaido Cranes. Oof. A 6-5 to five regulation win. Wow. Is it a... No. So Ren Chujo, our seemingly short-term solution, has a bruised cheekbone. He's out day to day. Meaning that Ryu Shimizu is about to be put into our defensive core. All right, so let's see if we can do this against East Hokkaido. To finish off the episode with a win would be great. Boom! Four to one win. That is what I'm talking about. And to finish off the episode, 10 games are now behind us. And we are first in the league with the least amount of games played. So whatever Barry put into these guys' water bottles, it seems to work. Granted, we have been given multiple false dawns with great starts in our past two seasons. So hopefully this doesn't turn into a Japanese tire fire because for one thing, that would be very bad for the country. And two, we don't want to potentially get fired from our club team. So that is it. That is all, guys. Thank you so much for watching the first quarter of the regular season because, of course, since there's 40 games, 10 episodes, each four episodes, you get the idea. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later in episode three.